911 flight 93 check and post in just five minutes. They're trying to call me, John Milton Brady. Make the video whatever you get when you don't get me. And yeah, phone records don't lie, especially when good Americans are making videos of those hijack calls. And it's not just that about money out of your business when you can't reach a customer, you don't know how many other customers you can't reach. It's your lifeline, your family's lifeline, your employee's lifeline. Let me tell you a story about uh, Dan and uh, Tom. They're on their way to a photo op. They're prima donnas. They, they can show up late. And when they get there, a Trump is letting one guy have it. He says, That is unfair. I am not stealing America's calls and letters to John Milton Brady, son of a Captain Marion. I'm not conducting religious censorship. A business censorship, any other kind you can mention. I'm not doing that. I just got here. And the reporter, young guy, doesn't know what to say. He says, I'm sorry, I, I just said I liked your book. A lucky guess, uh, anyone who can put a pen to uh, a cardboard sign uh, thinks they're an author nowadays. I remember back in the 70s, 1970s, a dad, blue light dad, took me for a walk to a poor part of town. And he saw this man. You know, sitting on the ground there with a cardboard sign said, Down on my luck, I'm millions of dollars in the hole. Can you spare a buck? And Blue Light Dad said, That is a very arrogant man. Don't give him a dime. He's not having his business phone stolen from him, his livelihood stolen from him. I'll document that business censorship as you call me up to get some imagery design. And see dangerous folks in America's uh, shadows with ill intent to who to keep you from reaching me. Tell me what you believe. That's what I mean by Jesus this house here. And you can't get some imagery design. That's why I'm living on Skid Row. Not because of a lot of arrogant folks uh, taking part in my hijack livelihood. Point that out with a simple check and post video. For right now.